day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, I am back again with my drill bit project. Someone asked, what if we wanted the gap between the edges to be the same on it? Let me show you how I would solve that in Tinkercad. So if we do Control D, I'm going to break this apart. And I'm going to quickly show you a few things I learned. I stretched the handles and this radius became, and it wrecked my radius. So watch this with a brand new cube. I'm going to find my numbers out, 57 and 21. I'm going to set my radius to 2 and press enter. I'm going to type that 57 and I'm going to type that 21. Notice the numbers went a different direction than I thought, but check out how much smoother those corners are. Once again, if you drag the handles, it breaks the parameters. So then I need to set this height. Let's do a quick double check to three. Switch back here, height, three, and press enter. So that makes that part nicer. So now friends, I'm gonna take my holes and let's move them to the other side. The easiest way is to hide that, select them all, do control D, and shift nudge to move them into place. I'm going to click out here and I'm going to press F to fit view. If we check our measurements, you can see I went six, I went five, four, three, and two. So if we select these two, I'm shift selecting, choosing a line, I'm going to click on this one, and I'm going to line it to the edge. So right now they're exactly even. I'm going to hide that. And remember this one is size five. So I'm going to cheat. I'm going to click the five millimeter nudge and I'm going to move it once. If we do show all, you can see they're exactly side by side. And I'm going to put a gap of five in between them. Friends, I'm going to shift select these two, choose L for a line, click on this one to make it the master. And once again, I want to go to that edge. I'm going to hide it. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. If I do my nudge of five, check it out, it's one too far. So we simply go back to our normal nudge, move it back, and then we can do one, two, three, four, five nudges to get that exact same space in between them. Once again, do the same shift select, click a line, make this one the boss. This time I'm gonna just hide and I'm gonna go one, two, three this time. Now it's straight side by side, then one, two, three, four, five. And then finally shift select, choose L for a line, bring it to the edge, hide the main one. Let's double check that measurement just in case. It is two, so we're just gonna go one, two, and then one, two, three, four, five. When we do show all, you can see they are now all spaced evenly. There is nothing automatic about it, but it does work pretty well. To get these evenly spaced on our main shape, we're going to simply hide it, grab the rest, do Control G to group those, show all, select them, L for a line, and make this the boss, and choose middle and middle. And bang, you have got them all exactly lined up with the edges, and the same spacing, once again, control G to group it. No, you do have to be patient waiting for that to happen. Real quickly, I'm going to go back and do control G to group this as well. Friends, as I wrap up these days, now we can click on settings, pick an awesome color for that background, and we can also shut off the grid. Absolutely love that feature. Also, I hope you guys are picking up how cool it is to use the parameters so that radius looks the way it should. Once again, Dan, thanks tons for the question. Friends, as I wrap up, let me remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad with a ton of awesome categories. And then right below it, the first day lessons. These are great for anybody that's just starting out in Tinkercad. Friends, I also want to highlight the super cool built-in messaging. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are more than 600 
members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.